Hello everyone, my name is Funny Hunt and welcome back to another episode of Indie Game Demo Playthrough. So, today we're playing Metal Unit Early Access. So, without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. So, in essence, this game is a platformer, a uh, pixel art 2D platformer. So, this is our main character, Joanna, but basically she wants to find a way to capture her sister which apparently like a traitor you must first make a pledge before you can take a test to become a okay that's too fast will you dedicate your life to hunting down the queen and protecting mankind will you never give up and press on no matter uh, the hardships will you continue to fight even if you may not be really remembered in death those are a very very uh, tough call to make really The last hope of mankind, Fortune Steel. You have passed the entrance exam to become an official pilot for the... Uh, okay, I... The text here is just way too fast. You might end up having to kill your own flesh and blood. Are you sure you're okay with that? I've already made up my mind. Okay. Then for your final test... Uh, it's an emergency, Master. Training room 11 is under attack by the Gargar. Recruit unit 11 has deployed and she is loaded with life ammunition. What? Come back unit 11. This is too much for you to handle. I can do this! I will perform this rescue mission instead of the task. What? I guess I have no other choice. From this point, M unit 11 will take part in this operation. Thank you, master. Oh my god, the text here is just so fast and there is no setting to adjust that. Infiltration was successful. Scanning the interior. Numerous monsters have been detected inside the base. Understood. Falcon, put it on the screen. Please call me Falcony. I'll also call you Joanna instead of your serial number. Yeah, I don't really like calling people by their serial numbers. It's kind of like dehumanizing. Okay, oh, there's a guy over here. Unit 11. Everyone at this research facility has fallen to the garu. Thank goodness you weren't late this time. Please, rescue the survivors. B O. So these monsters are pretty cute, I guess. They're like a, a little uh, gray slime holding a sword. <laughs> okay, that's pretty simple. So this creature shoots lasers. Uh... Oop. Ow, I got hit. So they, so enemies are kind of like get staggered when you are shooting them, which is kind of like, oh, I, I hit this golden egg. <laughs> okay, so Sarah's shuriken. I don't know what this is, but it's a sub weapon. Okay, so it acts like this, and I think that I can do this. Yeah, there you go. I'm expecting a boss fight. Oh. Yeah, that kind of looks intimidating. Ow. Okay, let... Oh, I should like dash, time my dash real quick. There you go. It's easy. It's easy. We're about to be surrounded. I recommend immediate retreat. The entrance. Damn, the other side too. Both the entrance and the exit has been sealed off. Uh, any escape options? Up or down, probably? In your current state, escape is not possible on your own. What does that even mean? Well, bombardment. M Unit 12, number 12, Yuna has arrived in this at the site. The enemy of oh, Captain Yuna. I see. The text is too fast! Well done. You got there just in time. Deploying a rookie into actual combat like this? Isn't that a bit too much, Doctor? I did all I could convince her otherwise, but she was too stubborn. I'm sure you're no stranger to how she can be. She was the one that requested replacing the test with actual combat, not me. That being said, you're pretty good with metal units. I guess I'll be seeing you more often. Eh, does that mean I pass? Even though I got surrounded and would have gotten killed. You survived, didn't you? That's good enough. Uh, go down, down. Oh! There, we have some green bubbles. Get us some coins because why not? Oh, those bubbles are like Banelings from StarCraft. 
that is they just explode on impact so this armor give me slice to area after a successful dodge I see so if I dodge oh okay I see but I have to be successful on dodging though okay I can use my ultimate ability right now so maybe we will try to use that oh so that's what it is this is too slow the melee weapon is just way too strong <laughs> There you go. Good. Um, well, there's something down there. Yeah, there's some like speech bubble down there. I don't know if I'm supposed to. Oh, there's a secret entrance. Right. Thank you. Yeah, all these monsters are pretty cute. Why are you guys like hating them? <laughs> I feel sad now. Yep, that's uh, definitely a way to clear out those like a lot of enemies and not a misclick. Definitely not a misclick. Okay, there's a secret entrance down here. Oh no. Oh no, I thought I would ex escape the uh, Path of Pain from Hollow Knight, but apparently I do not. Fire Drone. Oh no, oh no, this is bad. So what I was going to say is that I'm kind of surprised that the translation from Japanese to English uh, is kind of good. It's kind of like missing some points here and there, but yeah, I'm pretty surprised. I did play like other games from like other people that they don't speak English as their uh, main language. And usually they either don't bother in translating or their translation is just like crap. Our defeat will be guaranteed if we lose spirit. I will never give up and I will try again and again no matter how long it takes. Hmm, you sounds reckless. What? You okay, you're not in any position to say that you're rec uh, someone else is reckless when they are like being brave because you just did that like 5 minutes ago charging into like a rescue operation while you're not even a proper rookie yet. Haha, uh -huh, you're not wrong. Falcony, I'm going to make it through this. And I'm going to meet my sister and ask her what she did, what she did. Why is she? The text got cut out again. Oh my god. Oh, the golem is there. Rock King Gigantic Golem. Okay. Okay. Uh, I need to heal. Okay, what is they going to do? Oh. This is like a bullet hell. Uh Oh god. Yeah, I cannot fast tank this. Uh, okay, there you go. Okay, uh, I need more healing. Shockwave! There you go. Oh, well, that was easy. <laughs> warning, warning. Uh, why is that? That sound? That's... Energy readings are spiking. The reaction is an Emperor level monster. No, it's an Emperor level High Lord. Emperor Blue Dragon. Why would the Guardian of the Queen be here? Uh, can we beat it? Yuna, get down! Oh. Unit 11, this is getting out of hand. Activated emergency recall. Understood. Maximum output reach. Beginning emergency teleportation. Wow, you have teleportation. Ah, <sighs> okay. No, we can't leave Captain Yuna behind. Please wait. Why don't just teleport her? Do it. Uh, uh, understood. Starting emergency recall. If you can just teleport people... Uh, uh, hmm. Okay, I don't... Oh, God. The world building needs some work. Captain Yuna died because of me. It's all my fault. 
What am I supposed to do now? Hana, Yuna. I guess that's the end of it, right? Of the demo. Yep. Okay, I'm going to leave a, uh, a little bit of a feedback here, as I usually do in games like this. I really like the combat mechanic. Um, some part of it, like, really fun. So the translation from Japanese to English is kind of good. I'm actually kind of surprised because usually games from Japanese are like not localized properly, especially with indie games. My biggest complaint is on the use of the text box itself. Sometimes, because English has more characters than Japanese, some of the texts are just cut out and there's no way I can see that. Even though that the animation of the typing is still running in the background. Also, I have a feedback on uh, the speed, the speed of the cinematic, because the text, there should be like a option to just adjust the speed of the text, which is kind of like a problem when I, um, if I'm like a slow uh, reader. I do not complain about the uh, absurdity of the situation and events, like I can't do this like normal anime protagonist trope, but I can just brush it off. It's like the style and charm of the game. But yeah, uh, I do like this game. Um, I would definitely going to wishlist it myself. I don't know about you guys, but if you guys want to wishlist it, you can go ahead and go to the link down in the description. There's a link there to the Steam page where you can play the demo build, I think. I don't know when this video comes out, if the demo is still available, but yeah. So uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video so far. Leave a like if you do. Please share and subscribe for more videos of another indie games in the future. And with that, I think I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.